the Congo was already dangerous between getting attacked by the locals, poor health conditions, and worrying about contracting jungle fever. Now it has gotten even more dangerous with the outbreak of COVID all around the world. Oh, well, down in Mexico, I was already put in danger from the wrath of Don Hector, the owner of the ranch I was staying at. But now I am in even more danger because of the outbreak of COVID, just like you. Having this outbreak adds to my anxiety from being on the run. I understand your concerns. Me and my family lived near the border during this war on drugs. We were already exposed to a significant amount of danger and violence. Now with this COVID-19 crisis, I am even more anxious for our life. Mama, my dear grandmother who raised me, is battling cancer and severe illnesses. These conditions make Mama more likely to contract the virus and die from it. This current situation is quite anxiety provoking. No one really knew how bad the virus was until it was too late. Once it started spreading, there was no stopping it. People were not strong enough to tell the truth and try to help prevent it from spreading the way that it did, especially with them not telling the class of 2020 that they would never be going back to school and would not get to have a prom or graduation. Yeah, I hate when people don't tell the whole truth. I'm really bummed about missing prom. I really wanted to ask Alejandra, one of the girls I met from the ranch who I really loved. I cannot imagine not attending your senior prom, especially with someone you really loved. I went to prom with my now husband, Moss. It was lovely and we were so in love that the night was so magical. I am truly sorry that you will not get to have the same experiences that I had with Moss with your Alejandra. Yeah, I would have loved to have those same experiences you had at prom. It would have been great memories to have with Alejandra. Now I can't even see her because her father won't let me on the ranch since we have to go social distance. I am extremely upset about missing all these experiences. I love to live life to the fullest, but this out, this COVID outbreak is forcing me to stay inside and not go out to experience the world. I got married so young that I was also unable to explore our immense world, and I regret not having those experiences while I was so young. I hope that this situation resolves itself within the next year so you can travel and explore the world. With all of the different information going around, people have been given a false sense of hope that this will all be resolved quickly and they will be able to resume their normal lives. I really wish that we could return to back to the pre-pandemic and pre-war on drug times so that we can all have normalcy in our daily lives and have fun experiences that we can remember. Yeah, I wish my life was normal again. Being stuck in quarantine reminds me of the time when I was stuck as a prisoner in jail in Mexico. Inside this prison, I was by myself and the jail was filled with a lot of violence. One of the inmates even tried to kill me. It was a very scary experience and I hate having to go through something similar to that again. What's well, everyone's plans for post-quarantine? I know I'm going to live life to the fullest and experience more things that I haven't before. I also think I'm gonna become more grateful for the little things in life, especially my family's health and happiness. I plan on getting out of Africa and heading to England. However, I'm not sure if I'm getting away from the greed and darkness of the Congo's colonization and exploitation or heading into the heart of it. I may never know where the true darkness resides or how to stop it, but I'm going to protect as many people as I can from it. My plan is to leave my life in Texas, since there is nothing left for me there, and go out into the world with just me and my horse to find a new place to call home. There, I will build my dream ranch, live life to the fullest, and fulfill my dreams of becoming a real cowboy. These are all really good plans. I cannot wait for a change of scenery. Being confined in my small house with just mama is quite lonely. I miss interacting with others, and I miss my husband, Moss. But I cannot leave my house because I cannot risk the safety of my mama, and it's making me go crazy. Well, I wish everyone luck on wherever their future may take them, and believe that we have all learned the importance of the truth and when to tell it. John Grady, I hope you finally get to open up your own ranch. I know you'll be great at it. Carla Jean, I wish you and your mama well and hope that you get the change of scenery you're hoping for. Yeah, I hope everything works out for everyone and that we all make it through this crazy time. Carla Jean, I hope you and your mama stay safe and have a great life when this is all over. Marlo, I hope that after the pandemic is over, you're finally able to leave Africa and go to England. Thank you, Marlo and John Grady Cole. Marlo, I hope you finally find the lightness that comes with discovering the truth after these dark times. John Grady, I hope that you finally experience your American dream and become a ranch owner and finally get to be with Alejandro.